What's going on my lovely Pisceans and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Tawny Michelle and I do tarot, astrology, and all kinds of other cool spiritual videos on this channel. I'm a weirdo. We are not all love and light and rainbows over here. And when I say I'm a weirdo, I'm not saying I'm weird because I'm into astrology and tarot and all of that. I'm just a weirdo. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. So happy new year, happy 2020, happy January. Um, I feel like you guys have a lot going on. I feel like things are a little bit possibly dramatic right now or a little bit shaky right now. Um, and I feel like some of you guys are a little confused about your direction, what direction you're supposed to be going in for whatever reason. Um, and the, the astrology is kind of like that too, you know, with this Cancer Lunar Eclipse that's happening today at the time that I'm filming this. Um, it's happening in a place for you that is very much so about um, your passions and your the things that you love to do also children and finding the inner child within and so you could really be feeling um, a little bit of kind of a closing like a, a, a closing the chapter on something that once was whether it was a romantic connection that didn't work out a friendship that didn't work out a goal that didn't work out a job that didn't work out there's something that i feel is guiding you to something better because i see that in the cards so i do see something kind of getting shaken up for you if it already has this month or um just Right now, I feel like there's something that kind of happens unexpectedly, but that leads you to a higher calling and a higher purpose that you may not completely understand all the way. But I feel like you know it. I feel like your mind is kind of like you understand it, like you you understand that um, you're being led somewhere by energies that you can't necessarily see, I guess you could say you're definitely being divinely guided. That is what I see here in the cards and that is what I feel for you. So the best thing that you can do with this energy is really follow it all the way through, follow your heart and you will be okay. So um, let's go ahead and see what else comes out. So just to kind of go over your cards. So I drew some Oracle cards um, from the Threads of Fate Tarot. A lot of people ask me every time I use this deck. So I just wanted to go ahead and throw that out there. I'm sorry, it's the Threads of Fate Oracle. Um, it is pricey, but they do have afterpay, which allows you to make payments. That's what I did because I'm a cheapskate Virgo in my second house. So um, yeah, not that Virgos are cheapskates. I'm just picky about how I spend money. So that's what I meant by that. Um, my boyfriend is a Virgo rising, so I'm not hating on Virgos. So please just, yeah, you get it. We first have take risk. That is the first Oracle card we have. Then we have fate. Okay. And then we have nature. So what is it that the universe is pushing you to do? What is it that is your heart's desire? You know, it's like, and with take a risk there, you're really being asked to take action on something, I feel, with that. Uh, because it's your destiny. And I feel like you kind of feel it. I feel you guys can feel something kind of like, uh, building in a way and with nature there I feel like this is more about like yeah it could be actual nature the trees the grass the earth all of that but I feel like this is really about trusting your own instincts trusting in your own nature and not trying to fight it because <laughs> some of you guys I feel like you're trying to fight it a little bit um, because you don't want to be in the spotlight for some reason is really weird um so some of you may be feeling a little bit exhausted um you could be kind of getting into it with someone like there could be some competition you have with someone about recognition or being in the spotlight for something now this could be someone else that's like like this with you or maybe you're comparing yourself to others because we do have two fours here the four of cups and the five or i'm sorry the four of cups and the four of swords so i do see that you're a little bit apathetic you're a little bit um depressed possibly that's kind of coming through because we have the queen of cups as well so something's got you a little bit down 
something's got you a little bit down some of you may still be confused about what it is that you're being guided to do because we have the tower here so that unexpected event that shakes things up for you that kind of sends things in a little bit of like a whirlwind that's unexpected and dramatic but then we also have the hierophant so this could definitely be um, karmic for whatever reason I'm getting like faded karmic connections in your life this could be family this could be um, friendships, things that have been around for a long time that are now becoming a little bit unstable for whatever reason. But with this Knight of Swords and Temperance, you are being guided to do something. You are being divinely guided somewhere. And even if you can't see the destination just yet, even if you're still trying to figure out what it is, you're getting some kind of message from divinity like from the divine you are getting some kind of message some of you could also be having to look at the bigger picture in a situation where you are not wanting to let go of um, or that you're not wanting to kind of deal with because with this five of wands and the six of wands i feel like there's some kind of competition here for recognition or for attention or something whether it's on your side or someone else's side so definitely let me know in the comments if that's you. Hopefully this is making sense so far. Um, yeah, so so with the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups, like I said, you're it's almost like you're being handed something, but you don't want it, you know? You don't want it. It's like you don't want to participate in the social climbing. You don't want to participate in this ladder of society where people are like trying to wring each other's necks honestly this could be the events that are happening in society that really kind of have you down you're feeling all of the energy from everything and it's like why can't we all just get along why can't we all just be in harmony take things slow and really just work on things together <clears throat> So I do feel that that's exactly what you need to do. I feel that you guys need to take things slow. I feel that you guys need to um, worry about yourself and your own emotional health right now and not worry about anybody else's. And some of you guys, Honestly, something else just came to me too. I do feel that some of you guys are still not over something that happened in the past with a certain friendship relationship or family relationship, some kind of significant relationship in your life that you guys are not quite over yet, that the cord has not been completely cut on. Or some of you guys are trying to run away from something that has not been worked out that has not been balanced out with temperance here because temperance can sometimes be negotiation um, reconciliation forgiveness and really just making its alchemy so it's turning something turning you know lead into gold and you could say that this is true for any situation in your life recently where maybe you've been having a hard time but it's really important for you to turn that situation into something better okay so that's very, very um, important for you. Also, some of you guys could feel like your mind is just doing its own thing. Completely doing its own thing. And you guys are getting somewhat rebooted um, because your season is right around the corner, Pisces. Like, literally right around the corner. So you guys are preparing for your, you know rebirth moment for your moment of transformation and so take it easy on yourself try to turn that energy that's bothering you into something else however you have to do it that just like flew out nine of cups so yeah you're struggling a little bit with emotional fulfillment with possibly creative fulfillment but here's the thing pisces just like for cancer and really all of us right now, just the general energy right now, is really finding that emotional treasure box within yourself. Because if you look at this card, you know, he's like hit the jackpot. He's found the treasure, right? And it's finding that within yourself is going to be so much more worth it 
then depending on anything outside of you. And I think that's why you're so not happy. I think that's why you're so uninspired. That's why you're possibly creatively blocked is because you need to find that emotional foundation within yourself. You need to trust yourself and not worry about the external um, ongoing ladder of chaos, right? Who's at the top, whatever. I think you're just really tired of having to try to like compete with people or compare yourself to others or worry about who did what and what's going on in the world or in your own like public life, your own external life. And so these cards are telling me that you need to start worrying about your worth within because that's going to lay a lot more stronger foundations for you than worrying about what other people think of you or what you look like on the outside to other people, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, and there may be a situation in which you need to take a risk, in which you need to jump, you know what I mean? Um, because I do feel that you're being divinely guided. Like I said in the beginning, with temperance can sometimes be like the guardian angel, with the hierophant, you know, and then that staircase up into heaven basically and the knight of swords it's like you are being divinely guided but it may not look like that it may just like seem like you're you're fighting or things are crumbling or things don't make sense or things are hard for you to understand but there is something higher happening here so hopefully that makes sense pisces hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading definitely let me know down below if it resonated with you and if you liked this reading. I love you, Pisces, and I will see you guys in my other videos. Bye.